All right, is the camera on? Yeah? Okay, happy new year everybody. It's the same old me, I haven't changed. I thought I'd do a quick video here just to recap a little bit of last year and also talk a little bit about what you can expect going forward for the Canadian Gearhead YouTube channel here. For starters, last year was awesome for the most part until like the very end. And there was a big Google algorithm update and unfortunately the Canadian Gearhead website lost a whole bunch of traffic and so one of my top priorities in January now for this month is essentially to save my site and I need to get the traffic back. You'll actually notice if you go on the site, there's a completely different look to it now and uh, I spent a bunch of time redesigning the whole thing. If you haven't been to the site before, it's got over 200 articles, everything to do with Toyotas, um, detailing, maintenance, modifications, answering commonly asked questions, stuff like that, everything from basic info to more deeper dive stuff. There's something for everybody on there, so feel free to go and take a look at it if you want, check it out, spend some hours reading through articles if you want. I'm gonna be spending a lot of time focusing on that for right now, which means I'm gonna to have to slow down a little bit on YouTube, but I'm not quitting YouTube, don't worry. Even for the month of January and some of the YouTubers that I follow, they all shut down for this month because ad revenue sucks, they're burnt out from the, the Christmas season, whatever. I'm not doing that, I thought about it, I was going to, here I am. Uh, on that note, the YouTube channel last year, more specifically November and December, was record-breaking for me. We were every, every week, the view count was going up and up and up. I kept seeing these notifications from YouTube saying, congratulations, your, your views are up 134% or something. Uh, and it was awesome to see. Partly it was because I was just pumping up more videos. I told myself that I really wanted to double down on my output of how much I was publishing. So instead of doing one video per week, which is already kind of tough depending on what the video is, I did two a week all for a matter of like, I think it was six or seven weeks straight. Uh, needless to say, I'm tired. <laughs> you combine that with the Christmas season, running the websites, doing everything else. December was a bit of a crazy month, so I am toning it down a little bit for this month. So what does 2024 look like for the Canadian Gearhead YouTube channel? Well, honestly, I would say pretty much more of the same. A lot of you guys are here for the Forerunner and the Tacoma content, and so rest assured, that's not going anywhere. That's gonna be still a, a top focus for the channel. Just playing with these Toyota trucks, learning more about them, sharing more about them, some how-to stuff, some modifications, maintenance, just overall appreciation for this really cool generation of Toyota trucks, which was the, I guess, like the mid-2000s. There's a few new faces on the channel here ever since I posted that video of the MR2, the Doug DeMuro review. And so I'm gonna be adding more with this car as well going forward, mainly because I just love it, man. This car's my baby, so. Now, my passion is in detailing, and even though that kind of content hasn't really performed for me in the past that much, I'm gonna be filtering a little bit of it into the videos here. I think in more of a relatable way to the average car owner, maybe most people can't really associate with a, you know, a 70 hour paint correction on a supercar. Uh, a little bit more realistic stuff for like the average, again, Toyota truck guy. I wanna try and bridge that gap a little bit because I understand a lot of truck guys don't care about their paint, they don't care about the condition or the appearance of their vehicle, they just want it to be functional. But I know there is a, a group of us that want to use them for what they're intended for, but also want them to look nice and be well cared for and clean them up after we get them dirty, basically. So what's new on the channel this year? Well, what about car reviews? Should I be doing car reviews? Is that a thing? I don't know. I, I'd like to try it. I think. Uh, It'd be fun to share my take on, on different vehicles and my opinion of what they're like, what they drive like. I just, I love experiencing different cars and trucks. Um, obviously, it would probably be pretty heavily focused on the Toyota brand because that's what we know and love around here. Um, so let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see some car reviews and uh, you think I should give that a shot. Question for you, if I was gonna do that, would you prefer a POV driving angle? So it's like as if you're driving the car yourself or would you rather maybe talking directly to the camera? I'm kind of leaning towards maybe a mixture of both, but uh, again, let me know in the comments. What else? Uh, more Toyota related news stories. I think it'd be cool to share more of what's going on with the Toyota brand. We probably can guess that there's gonna be a new Toyota 4Runner coming pretty darn soon and if last year was any kind of a signal with the Tacoma, it's gonna be really soon. And those updates and those rumors are gonna start rolling, I think, anytime now. I'm already starting to see videos pop up 
Um, so I'd like to cover that kind of stuff and just interesting things that are going on in the industry, maybe just a video here and there, I think would be kind of cool. Speaking of stories, I kind of like to take the time to research and share like interesting stories that, that I learn about in the car industry. And again, primarily Toyota stuff, but maybe the, the untold history of the Toyota 4Runner or something and uh, doing some more storytelling because it's cold outside and I like hiding in the garage and talking to the camera like a weirdo. Come springtime, I really want to get out to more car events with this old girl right here. And I know I only filmed like one video of a Cars and Coffee event last year with this car and it didn't really get a whole lot of views, but to be totally honest, I really enjoyed making that video and it was an excuse to hang out with my buddy an excuse to take this car out and rip around in it a little bit and uh, get out and just see other cars, talk to other people. I really miss that. My life has changed the last few years and uh, I feel like that part of my life has been missing and I'd like to bring it back. And if I'm making videos for you guys, that kind of helps me to justify spending the time on, on checking out different car events. Now you may have noticed I haven't mentioned one thing up until now. Roast my runner. And that's because I'm shutting it down. No, I'm just kidding. I've got so many submissions stockpiled right now. I don't think I'm ever gonna catch up. You guys just keep on sending them in. I can't stay up to date. And so Roast My Runner is definitely gonna be an ongoing thing. I think maybe at least once a month, we're gonna do a new episode. As long as people keep sending them in, I'm gonna keep on making these videos. So if you haven't seen yours featured in a Roast My Runner video yet, it will be coming unless I lost it or something. But hopefully I've caught back up on those. Uh, also, Roast My Taco? question mark anyways that's pretty much all I got for you um, let me know in the comments below what else you would like to see on this channel going forward any ideas that you have that I maybe didn't mention here try to keep it reasonable remember I'm just a regular family guy here I don't think my life is that interesting but do you want to see like a day in my life video do you want to know what I do for a living do you want to kind of see behind the scenes of how I make a YouTube video or any of the strategy kind of stuff behind the content creation side of things. I'm happy to share some of that if you guys would be interested in it. Yeah, so let me know. I hope you guys have a good start to this year and uh, you'll be seeing a whole lot more of me still. Don't forget to go check out the website. I need some traffic. Come on. Take it easy, guys.